This is a doll I use in a lot of my paintings. It's called an Ideal Saucy Walker doll. And I love these dolls. This one I like because her eyes are cons constantly rolling to the back of her head. Actually, they're stuck right now. <laughs> this one over here is one that I had her pose for. I'm Andrea Hoagie. I'm an artist based out of Vancouver. I make scratchboard illustrations and oil paintings. People describe my art as cute and creepy. I'm really drawn to children's books from the mid-century, so I tend to use a lot of images of dolls and animals and sort of childlike images. And I like to take those images and bring them over kind of like to the creepy side without it being too obviously creepy. Um, these are, this is a collection of little golden books I have. All of them have illustrations by Eloise Wilkin. Um, sometimes I look at my dolls, sometimes I look at my dollhouse or any of these toys and it helps me come up with ideas for new pieces or at least reminds me of the train of thought I had when I've created pieces in the past. I'm really interested in looking at childhood toys because uh, I studied psychology in university and I found, like, I'm really drawn to, like, those early childhood experiences and how they sort of shape a person. So the things that people are surrounded by when they're growing up um, really impact what, who they grow up to be. I've always been sort of interested in that process. I find that the ideas behind what Freud did, especially, like, psychoanalysis and looking at early childhood experiences and uh, the subconscious, that's something that inspires my work. There's a piece I did for, for a solo show I had in 2016. The show is called Easter Eggs and the piece is called Inquisitive Bears. And in this image, these two bears that are kind of curious about exploring um, different roles that they can see themselves in. So they're holding masks of different animal faces that they're thinking about trying on. The masks for me represent uh, different worldviews, whether that be religion or politics or even vegetarianism or anything. There's different types of ways of seeing the world and belief systems. The more work that I create, the more I find myself building a theme and more of a story. And as that body of work grows, it gets more and more exciting and more ideas come from that. Something I'm really excited about is a friend of mine and I are thinking about starting a children's book, which would kind of be perfect because it's how I began, it's, where I, it's what I've been inspired by. And I think it would also be extra special to make one because I'm pregnant <laughs> and I'm expecting a little boy and my friend and I both can dedicate the book to our children, which is definitely something exciting.